Hey guys, Spikey here for another ranked game commentary. This time we've got uh, Glances down here playing Kathir, deploying that Moonlit. Might be playing uh, Fairies, might just be playing a mixed deck, who knows. And then we've got Gnomes up here. Hi there, I know you watch my videos. Uh, how's it going? Uh, let's see what you're playing. Maybe spiders? Possibly? Interesting build on the Void Spider. I personally go with uh, multi-attack on him. Because then with uh, Creep and Crawl, he's got multi-2, which is, you know, pretty baller. Plus, I think it's a cheaper build, too. There we go. We got the Solstice mark Marksman down here. I can't talk. Okay, so... Oh, that's kind of weird. He's got like a fire attack, but he has chill, and he also has like a frost thing that applies frozen. I'm not sure if chill would apply on that as well. But he also has frost nova and immune frost, which I don't think is really going to matter here. So there's the flame web spider, the Ellie badass, hell yeah. He's got it with uh, pounce two. Damage shield 3 at 69, Nora. Right on. That's a decent enough build. Kind of just holding back here. So this looks like it's probably just a mixed sort of deck. Maybe, uh, who knows. There's the Brood Mother, so definitely we got a spider deck up here. Uh, see, so yeah, they, uh, they nerfed, uh, nerfed uh, Surge Arthropod on all the, the two big hitters, Klozik and Broodmother, because it was rank 2, and it was, frankly, it was broken. It was kind of ridiculous. It's like, once you actually hit critical mass as far as your little fucking spiderlings, then you were just one-shotting things, and it was ridiculous. There we go, the Moonlit, running on up, taking that font. Solstice kind of moving over there, defending his font, and there is... The AA. God damn it. That's a pain in the ass. There's the banner in the font. Make sure he can't just run in and take it. I force him to take damage. Oh, guild chat's gone. Of course. He's actually moving all the way right up kind of into that font to guard it. Interesting. Now he can, uh, there's Protect the Nest going. Now he can move up there with that, uh, that flame web, but I'm not sure if he will. He's just, right now, he's just getting that spiderling, the, you know, the spiderling engine going, because he's got to get way more of them to get that surge number up. Now that it's surge one. See, and he's still just going to plop himself right in that font. Engage to him. I mean, come on now. What, what what are you doing here? I mean, you're gonna have. I mean, he's gonna frost Nova, obviously. But, you know, then what? What's his What's his plan after that? He's probably gonna bring a uh, pedo bear on in. Probably uh, frost Nova. Move him out of the way. Bring pedo bear. Oh, and attack. Then wham. But that still didn't kill him and still didn't solve your problem. He's still in your font. And he's in that font. Oh, good job. There's the Conclave Warden with just general boost for the fairies. Interesting, rather than boost weak. But that Moonlit now has uh, extra health. Moving the uh, spiderling and brood mama on up. Now, I mean, even even though it's only boost or not boost surge one, it still tends to get pretty ridiculous pretty quick. As far as uh, damage numbers, because I mean, underdeps already gives four damage to melee champs, and they're not weenie base damage. Like nine is 
that's not too bad considering you're gonna have a couple spiders out likely and I'm sure he probably dropped a relic in there before sacrificing or maybe he just gave him back his font possible he still has this one he's still contesting that one there's Klizik yeah he just gave him back the font that's fine she's uh... she used to be straight up overpowered i'm gonna i'm i'm calling it she was just overpowered cause she would you know she would pop out those little fucking spiderlings all the damn time and it would shove her damage to ridiculous numbers. I mean, look at this. There's only, what, one, two, three, four other spiders on the board. 21 damage with Surge 1. Like, come on now. That would have been 25 already if that was still Surge 2. And these little spiderlings over here haven't even really started attaching. And that brood mama can almost lay down another spiderling, I think. Actually, she might... No, I think next turn. And he's just moving over there, but he can pounce in. Or... Well, he wouldn't, I wouldn't entangle, because it won't do any damage. But it would stop it kind of from moving, I suppose. Make it easier to... To get, like, a double tap in. That'd be an okay move. Like, if you moved in... Well, he's just out of moving all the way in and entangling. Because I would do it at melee range. So that way it actually did damage. But I would pounce. There we go. Yeah, right there. Now we, it kind of forces him over there to the brood mama. There's the uh, another Solstice Marksman. Over here. And Pedo Bear is kind of trapped by these guys. He's got to move up and start wailing on that. Because he can just one-shot that little spiderling pretty easy. There's the demonic sand claw, though. He's kind of badass. Because he's got creep and crawl. Well, he can have creep and crawl, that is. There's the withering fern on the brood mama. So that thing's eventually going to die. That's basically how that works. Oh, I suppose I can let you in on what's going on here in guild chat. There was a dude who was in a game who I saw whose name was uh, Penis. Which sounds like penis. And uh, since I'm very high right now, that was quite amusing to me. I laughed for uh, a good 30 seconds or so at that. It was quite amusing. Now, of course, that spiderling was just bait. There's a the withering fern on Klizik. He's just probably just going to shatter that if he has that drawn, or if, if he runs it, I suppose. Oh, there's the rust demon for shatter. Yeah, he's, he's getting rid of that ASAP, as well as having that acid aura to proc her uh, propagate. So there he is moving in with the flame web. Since he's not going to be killing it, well what he could have done there was he could have moved in with the brood mama first and then hit it with the flame web because then it would have been vulnerable and it would have taken that extra little damage it would have needed to, uh, you know, to, to die. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty kind of situation there. Let's see. What's he got going? He's just kind of holding back with Klozik, getting ready for the shatter. And that's interesting. Did they change it so that the uh, aura no longer... Okay, no, yeah. Is it that one there? Okay, yeah. Duh. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I thought that egg sack was already there. So there he is wailing on the flame web. 
and kind of just turning that into a roadblock. Now, of course, he's immune to fire, so he should have uh, not done that. <laughs> now, he's just going to use retribution on that. I'm willing to bet. Well, if he's got a pounce, he'll probably pounce over to kill that moonlit. Don't, don't entangle. Don't do it. It's got evasive and uh, numerous. Go over and pounce. Just move over one space. Pounce if it's off cooldown, which I think it is. And then move. You don't even have to move back, but I probably would personally, just to be sure you get him. Don't. Oh, you, what are you doing? Uh, evasive and numerous. He's not taking shit from that. You better at least rat that. Getting the sand claw up. Let's see the rat, or sack at least. A rat would be nice though, because he's in ghost form and he's like, ha ha ha, you can't hurt me. Like, oh yeah, well fuck you, buddy. Type of situation. There's the withering fern off of Klizik. Now, of course, I, I always feel that the best anti-equip is just an equip. And by that I mean just preemptively equipping your units that you don't want having shit equips on, which can work. Are you going to do, uh, oh, superiority? That would have, uh, that would have worked. Grab that. Now, retribution. Sacrifice something. I suppose he does still have to attack it at least to deal with it, but he's just going to use a freezing strike to kill it, or he'll even possibly run up and frost Nova. There, he just freezing striked it. Moving back with Pedo Bear, moving back up because he's like, ha ha, you can't hurt me. Oh, there's another moonlet being dropped, getting ready to take out the sand claw there. Oh, conflicting boosts on the uh, conclave wardens. So, you know, if you're running two of those, I would run definitely one with boost weak and then one with regular boost, because that way you've got the option, you know, if you've got any guys that have low base HP, then you can boost their health with weak, because it doesn't stack with regular boost anyways. Like, regular boost doesn't stack with regular boost. And if you've got any fairies that have more than weak HP, then you've got your one with regular boost that you can throw down. Oh, there's some shit going on. Protect the nest. Oh, there's it's a uh, bane shift. Right on. So that entangle got switched to him, and he just swung that around. That was kind of slick. Now he's got that mind slicer obelisk down as well. So range here is starting to become difficult, shall we say? He's got shitloads of spiderlings. He's He's actually kind of got this game in the bag almost at this point. You know, he can he can start wailing on that conclave warden. But I mean, he also halfway wants those to be destroyed because he gets uh you know, he gets a little bit of Nora back. Like he got what, you know, a little over 6 probably 6 Nora back from that other one that just died. From that one, he'd probably only get, you know, three or four. Now he's backing up with the uh, the Brood Mama. He's probably going to eventually swing that Rust Demon over there to shatter that Withering Fern. It still is going to have that lowered defense, though, because that's a permanent lowered defense, because Klizik there. Oh, there was. Okay. Still Bane Shift going. 
on Klizik. Okay, so that's how that works. I've never I've never really used that spell, so I didn't really know how it worked. So he's just kind of pull, pulling back and, you know, just holding back for now. He's got Klizik up there that, you know, is doing pretty decent damage. If he doesn't do something with his shrine, he's just going to move in and shrine kill next turn. Uh, he can't uh, double tap with any of his guys. So, I mean, he's he's pretty safe as far as uh, Klizik here dying. Like, it's not really too likely. I mean, he could swing Pedo Bear on in, but then he's basically giving up that entire font. Because there's 12 damage. Illuminated. Another 12. But he can't hit it again. He can move up in Frost Nova, though. And he can he can move up with Pedo Bear and kill it. So he kind of left it in a vulnerable position in regards to that. So, I mean, if I had a, a demon shield, I would have equipped that to her. Because that way it would have caused him to, uh, you know, deal with that. And he would have had to swing the Ancestral Avenger in. Ooh, that was a, a nice thorn collection there. But, he now has Spiderlings right here. You know, at least this one within Wailing Distance of that Shrine. You can start kind of pinging it. Oh, I hit the mic there with my hand, sorry. There he's starting to... Oh, that, that Ancestral Avenger's done. He's done. So even even though he uh, he lost Klizik there, it wasn't even r really uh, necessarily that big of a loss because it's one that he can recover from uh, quite easily because he also gained that font and he can kill that marksman, heal up his brood mama, grab that. He's shut out of that font now. And there's the game. Alright, right on. Good game. Right on, gnomes. Uh, that's, uh, that's the whole game. I guess I'll see you guys next time.